Welcome back. This is the tenth installment of the Perilous Adventures of Chris Tubbs. Uh, funny thing, I actually just spent ten, maybe twelve minutes of live commentary when only thirty seconds of it was uh, recorded. I was wondering why Fraps was telling me uh, that I had a really high frame rate in the top left, but I decided to you know, not really question it too much and just be happy about it. But looks like uh, I probably should have questioned it. But that's all right. I don't mind redoing all of this. Uh, you know, this is for you guys. And we do have a lot of exciting things to talk about in this episode. Uh, this is probably the most I have done off of camera. And I'm going to probably keep my back to the wall that my back is to try to as much as I can because that's probably the biggest surprise over there. Um, oh, I got a bucket of lava, I did a, got a lot of glass, and as you can see, I've done something with these, uh, piston making and redstone and redstone repeaters and actually getting some redstone. And as you can see, there's no more a door, no, no longer a door here. Um, I'll show you that in a second, just go in this room real quick. I have patched some things up in here because this goes down to the mine shaft and covered up uh, the drop point so that way I don't accidentally fall and as you can see it's the same thing as the other one except it's, it's just a larger shaft because the other one was like a 2 by 4 I want to say and this one's a 2 by 6 um, I don't really want to drop down there I haven't done hardly anything down there uh, like I guessed it actually was connecting to that huge mine shaft from uh, the two part episode from that last episode and let's back out of here because I don't want to show you what's in that other room. And hopefully there's no bad guys down here because last time it was poorly lit up. But I have made my sh myself a chest room. And uh, this is what I like to do. I like to do it like this because the chest has its own level. And I just think that it's a more practical way of storing your chests. I think you can store more like this because if you had a room like this and it was flat, um, I don't, you couldn't place a chest right here and then a chest right there. Like you, you just couldn't place as many chests. So this allows you to place more chests. And basically all the is going to go into these chests are things that I don't use that often. I mean, they use for building, but it's things that, that I don't use a lot, but I get a ton of it. So that's what this room is going to be for. I'm not going to place things that I use a lot in here because then it would just be a hassle. Um, shoot, how am I going to do this? close okay so yeah I still have most of my regular stuff in here I don't think that this furnace was up here but I needed the second one so I just decided to put that up there made some changes in the front here um, I've put a gate around uh, so that way I can be more protected while I'm out here and there's three opening gates so that way if I want to go this way that way or that way I have an option and also if I don't want to use the gate I can use that and just hop up on there and get out like that so, now, I don't think that there's much of uh, any other changes. Um, I'm going to cut this off for just a sec, sleep, and I will be back. Okay, it's morning. We're going to head outside, and an Enderman is stealing some leaves. That sneaky, sneaky Enderman. I'm going to head out here walk this way get ourselves some distance from our new building and are you guys ready for it here we go yep it is a large extension very very large extension and you might be wondering what's going on in there and that's good I'm glad that you're wondering what's going on in there because there are some exciting things actually going on in there and I mean I'm just it took me some time to make this um, and uh, let's just go ahead and get started get you guys show you guys what's going on in there so I have made myself an auto wheat farm I know I had talked about doing this episodes ago probably episode 5 it was and I just uh, had other things on my mind to do uh, for the episode I've got so much on my mind to do and I finally just said you know what I'm tired of searching for cows I'm gonna make myself an auto wheat farm now I take no credit in making this wheat farm like I, I used a, a video on YouTube which I will probably po put up in the uh, as an annotation and it's going to be in the description uh, to this guy's channel and the video um, 
and I really uh, like this layout. It's very practical. Um, it allows you to have the most minimal chance of trampling your crops. And uh, the person who actually came up with the idea, his YouTube name is Shorty Stop. Like I said, uh, you will see his a link for him in the description and an annotation. And uh, basically, like what these are here for, so that you can stand up here and plant or um, till. I think it's called till the the soil and you will never fall down there. Um, the glass is here so that I can see what, like on this side, if I'm right here trying to do here, so I can see what needs to be done over there. And then all the other glass, like back here, is just so I can show you guys how I've wired it and things of that nature. And there's a back entrance so I can get up on top of this glass and show you guys that pre pretty easily. And then basically there's just pistons back here that are extended and that water is sitting on top of the extended piston um, the extended part so basically the pistons are turned on right now and when I flip this switch it's gonna actually turn the pistons off so they'll retract and then the water is gonna flow down uh, get all the crops go into this right here and then all come down to this point right here it's very very convenient makes thing makes it so much easier because when you try to actually farm, you're going to step on the crops. You're going to have to pick everything up. And, I mean, it's just, this method is just so good. So, um, why don't we, while we're waiting for these crops to uh, grow and get into action, so I can, because I haven't even used it yet. This is brand new. Even with that failed thinking I was recording for 10 minutes uh, part, it, they still haven't grown yet, so. We're going to go around here, go through this door, and voila, we're up top. So, there's the extended piston. It's uh, right underneath that dirt block. And uh, there's one for every channel. So basically, oh, and then underneath these uh, cobblestone bricks is where the water is placed. That actually... Uh, irrigates the crops and then I didn't know this but you can have blocks on top of the water and it still works so that's cool that's how that all works out so yeah basically um, you can see do I have any glass on me no I would break this glass but I don't have any glass on me uh, basically you can see that there are dirt blocks in between each piston so uh, there's the piston extended a dirt block and then just water all still water all along here redstone repeater right here because uh, redstone can only travel for 15 blocks I believe it is uh, don't right click it or anything I mean that's you don't need to delay it and then they, these just go all the way and uh, power the pistons uh, if you guys would really like uh, for me to do a tutorial I'm pretty sure I can accomplish that and redstone wiring just goes all the way over here and my switch is just on the other side right there um, the only thing that was difficult for me was that this guy made um, this for him he made it a underground layout and so I had to do a lot of just kind of because um, when you're cutting out it's different when you're cutting something out as opposed to when you're filling something in I mean they're basically the opposite that's the only reason why it was difficult and I think if you guys want to do an above ground layout like this as well it might be a little difficult for you um, not saying that you know it is maybe you're just ten times smarter than me I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings at all I mean if I had trouble with it uh, you know you, somebody out there might as well have trouble with it so I have no problem showing that to you guys um, I think I might do that for uh, the next episode or make this uh, make, do it in this episode I mean it would be nice uh, to have even more uh, crops to use and stuff like that I mean I've already got the layout and I'm pretty sure what I would be doing is just making a second story to it and it would be different because when you're doing a second story, um, you pretty much need floating water 
Or wait, would I need fluid? I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to kind of mess around with it at first. I'll make sure uh, you know I had it all down pat to where I I could just tell it to you guys in one shot and not mess up, and then, um, and then I'd show that to you guys. So this episode probably won't come out for a little while. But these crops uh, are almost all grown, so we're going to go ahead and stop the video for a second here and come back when they're fully grown, and we're gonna test this out uh, both of us for the first time. And I think what I would actually want to do for you guys is be up here when uh, I flip that switch. So you guys will be able to see exactly what's going on. So I will see you guys momentarily. Okay, we're back here and we are getting a little bit of lag. These spiders really like to sit right outside this window. And this is not Call of Duty where I can hit them or even if their feet stick through. Wow. They really do like to sit outside this window. Alright, so <clears throat> let's try and see if I can hit this switch from up here. Of course I can't. Um, um, how about we just hit the switch <coughs> and we'll watch the water flow. And then I, oh, I didn't really want to pick any up yet. But I will go show you guys. Wow, I'm getting some terrible frame rate right now. Alright. Saw that creeper over there. Trying to avoid him. Looks like another one. But um, as you can see, the pistons are not extended now, they are retracted and the water is freely flowing and I'm sure at this point all of the stuff is down there and let's take a look we have one wheat and two seeds and now we have 41 wheat and 54 seeds so let's go ahead and hit that switch turn the water off pistons are now expanded and I need to go upstairs and grab my hoe and I'll show you guys, well, from what the guy said, you don't really have to, it, usually water doesn't destroy um, the tilling of the land, so we'll go ahead and check that out now. It actually appears that most of it stayed there. So all you have to do basically is just walk here and hit your right click a lot, and then go over here, and right click, and come over here. And we'll just do it from here. Right click. And right click. And over here. Right click. Oops, missed one there. Wow, this is great. I didn't even have to re. I was about to make an iron hoe as well, but then I remembered that the guy said that usually water doesn't destroy the, the uh, tilled land, so there you have it. Um, that worked out perfectly, and uh, I'm really glad with how this turned out, and um, I actually, in that last episode, or what? which episode was it? I, think, I don't think it was last episode, it was the episode where I was going and I was uh, exploring that abandoned mine shaft and I lost all of the bread that I had so now I get to have some more bread and it's very nice very very nice alright so let's put this stuff upstairs and reward ourselves mm -hmm. that was delicious very very delicious so I do plan on making other uh, auto type farms. I was going to do a mushroom farm before this update came out, but it's kind of pointless now that you can just apply some uh, bone meal to a mushroom and just get a ton of mushrooms out of that. So 
don't think I'm going to need to do that, but I will make a auto wheat farm because I do plan on snazzing this place up, making some bookshelves. But for now, I'm going to see if I can make a second story, uh, just like this farm, and see if I can get m even more wheat, see if we can get like over a stack of wheat. And if I find it plausible, I will then show you guys how to build this. So I will see you guys in a little bit.